experts say this kind of a tragedy is less likely on airliners flying in America. U.S. rules require a no alone zone in the cockpit. Landmark. A flight attendant must go to the flight deck any time one of the two pilots leaves. There is no good reason why a commercial jet pilot responsible for hundreds, hundreds of souls is allowed to remain alone in the cockpit. The reinforced doors required after 9-11 to prevent hijackings can actually help a pilot who wants to crash his own plane. As seen in this Airbus video, if a pilot simply moves the cockpit door switch to lock, no combination of codes punched into the keypad outside will open the door. That lockout lasts five minutes and the pilot can repeat it. One person controls access to the cockpit and controls the plane. Some critics say, go back to three pilots that used to be standard. You don't want to bring flight attendants in the cockpit because they can't fly the aircraft. But in 1999 off Long Island, Egypt Air Flight 990 crashed and 217 died when the co-pilot deliberately put that plane into a dive and the pilot on the flight deck could not pull up. But the Lufthansa pilot couldn't even get to the controls to try to save his passengers. Just today, international carriers, including EasyJet and Air Canada, announced they're switching to the no alone zone U.S. standard. At least two crew in every cockpit all the time. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington.